doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? This cup is the first one that fits in my van. In the cup holder. It goes so nicely in. It's, I just wanted to show you because you guys know the traumas I've been having with the cups. So if you have a cup holder in your car, get a cup like this and it will fit in the cup holder. Don't get any other size cups, it won't fit in your car and you might cry every morning when your coffee goes everywhere and you are just really looking forward to it and it just, it just ruins your day really. So make sure you get a cup like this one. This is an absolute lifesaver. Here it goes. Let's go on a mission to fucking nowhere. Uh, really, I'm not entirely sure where we're going, but we're just gonna figure it out. Why? Because we're great. We are great. Let's go. Okay, I need petrol first. Hold that thought. Hold it. Hold the thought. That was excruciating. I feel like trees. Let's go find trees. Okay, let's resume. Let's resume. land they've just like given so people can like have a break oh that's so sweet made her DIY lead I don't know what I did with the big one it's just gone so I keep having to make a DIY lead it's a bit shit all right come with me Let's go on a exploration of the place. Come with me. <laughs>
trees are very different. I really like them. They're all twisty and shit. <laughs> no, they're really sweet. There's also a lot of wildlife going on right now. It's just so peaceful. But check out the trees. I said I was going to show you. Hold up. Did you see like all the bark's been eaten off, I presume? I wonder who's responsible for it. <laughs> I don't know what animal does it. It's namely deers and stuff there. I feel sorry for the tree, you know. I didn't ask for that. Yeah, it's so strange. None of the trees anywhere else apart from here are like this. It's only like this patch of trees. It's really interesting. If anybody has a, a logical explanation behind that, please let me know in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Interesting. But let's sit down. I made friends with a praying mantis the other day. We hung out for a bit. I even killed a fly for this praying mantis. I even named her Stephanie. I felt really bad about it but i was like you know what stephanie is probably hungry you know i gave it to her and she crept along went to go get this little bug she turned looked straight at me and jumped at me when i say i have never shat myself more when this praying mantis just like launched itself at me oh Oh my god. Oh, I'm literally well <laughs> I'm literally welling up talking about it. I'm getting so emotional. Oh my god, what is my problem? I'm actually gonna cry. Oh that's unexpected. And yeah, she just she jumped at me. That was really bitchy. So really moral of the story is don't make friends with a praying mantis. I'm warning you now. It will jump at you even if it has all your trust and you trust it so much it will jump at you so be careful oh, this is so good it's so peaceful so pure it feels incredible to breathe i think it's a mixture of the woodlands and the sea air coming through and obviously the lack of traffic here specifically but it is so nice and it's just it feels so pure to breathe in it really is the small things sometimes you know back to the van with me because I am thirsty and I want to check on Gigi. She's laying on my nice pink cushion, aren't you? You love being in the pink fluff. Yes, you do. This is perfect, don't you think? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice outside. I'm inspired to do a photo shoot. Come with me. It's gonna be fun. Apart from this, is really creased. I normally just get like a spray bottle of water and I just. And then I just kind of like hang everything up here and it dries and that's how I get creases out in the van. Alright. Come with me. I would much prefer to be photographing somebody else right now. I think there's nothing more satisfying than taking pictures of somebody else and then them being really happy. I just love to be, catch people like candidly kind of, ah, oh, and then you find a really good one and then they're so happy and it's like the best feeling ever. Making someone else feel good. When you take like a really nice picture of them, that's genuinely my favorite thing to do. But I have to use myself as the subject because it is just me. I like to then separate myself into like photographer and then subject. So like it feels like I'm not even taking pictures of me. I don't really know how to explain that, but um Alright, let's let's see what we can create. Look how cute Gloria looks. I also really like the ivy coming up this tree and I feel like the lighting's gonna be kinda good. So let's try. Oh my god, there's an RV down there. Bro, that is 
that is so cool. Okay, just taking a few. Then we're gonna just find the best lighting. Wow. All right, be right back. <laughs> This is how I literally take my thumbnails. Like sometimes they're really bad, but this is how you do it. The amount of pictures I lose due to things being unfocused is unbelievable. You can't always see whilst you're doing it alone. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I just put my hand on the covers like this. It's our favorite thing in the world. Look, do you this? You say. Well, that was a fun photo shoot. I'll show you the pits, my favourite ones. And my favourite thing after like shooting whatever, just going to pictures. It's so much fun. I love it. Do you want your dinner? Do you want your dinner? Chicken. It's been accepted. That's great. <laughs> nope, it's been rejected. That's still so great. I'm gonna shut that because the mosquitoes are gonna come in. And if I get more bites than I already have, I'm gonna cry a lot about that. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna swap out that for these baddies. And it's kind of funny because I found these when um, I was in the west of France. That's where, that's where I got these in the little boutique that I found. And these were actually the exact ones that I wanted when I first designed my van. But they were too expensive. So I got the like cheap Ikea one, which has worked really well. But I really wanted these gold ones. Okay, granted the ones I wanted were these ones but one of them was like a middle finger and the other one was like it was really cool they were really cool it's fine these are just as good and um they're really cute the only thing is again i don't have a drill i think it's in my parents van <laughs> so i'm gonna have to deal without it again but i think i can secure these with just one screw for now i don't know if i'm actually gonna be able to get it out but you know what it's me, I somehow do everything somehow. So, let's try it. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, I'm nervous because that holds so much and I don't want to mess it up, even though I know I can just screw another one in, but that's not the point. Sometimes you just gotta be brave, you know? This is a really taxing experience. Okay, let me zoom you in so you're not missing out on all the fun that's about to happen. Okay. I hope you can see, this one's like, Yeah, well, it's now come out. I've wanted to do that for ages. So let's change it. Oh, this feels so weird. I haven't touched this screw in like two years. How mad is that? Oh, it's been weird. This thing's been up for so long. Why am I attached to it? I'm not entirely sure. My snake ring off. Goodbye. Hello to these. I'm very excited about this. Boom. Boom. Oh. Well, that was easier than I thought. Oh, fuck. Where's the screen? Here it is. All right, the second one. instead of like oh wait I suppose no, 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 that does make sense the thumbs are on the outside not like that oh oh okay I'm relieved now oh they're so sweet they should have so been the other way around oh well actually they're a bit creepy are they are they creepy no they're not they're not they're not creepy right oh at least I've got someone's hand to hold other than my own now <laughs> They look great. 
wait, let me let me show you a bit closer. Oh my god, such baddies! A DIY goddess. Look at that. Wow. You know what? I kind of miss the satisfaction of building stuff. I do kind of miss it. Like I actually really liked building my van. It requires thinking, you know. <laughs> my brain cells are like, do something. Satisfaction of doing something. It's really satisfying. You need to try it. Anyway, let me know what you think about the handles. Do you like them? Do we like them? Are they a vibe? Are they? Let's hang something from them quickly. Um, Okay, really need the other one back for the space because I got a lot of stuff to hang, but you know what? They look cooler, so that's all the justification necessary, really. Thank you so, so much for being here. I love you. Thank you for all of your support. You guys are so sweet. I do get all your messages and I do read them and oh, if I can hug each and every one of you, I would. Thank you. I will see you next week. Thank you joining and um yeah hope you like my new handles hooks hooks all right bye